Okay, we're going to palpate the spinous process of C7. So what you're going to do is place your second, third, and fourth digits in line, and then you're going to place the soft pads of those fingers onto the spinous process of what you believe would be C6, C7, and T1. You don't know which ones they are, but that's what we're doing this for to find out where those particular ones, uh, particular spinous processes are. So once you have uh, the contacts, you're going to place your other hand onto the forehead of the patient and then passively move their cervical spine into, into extension. Now when you do that, the spinous process of C6 is going to disappear. When you now go back into flexion, then it's going to be able to be palpated under that finger. So once you've noticed where that is, now you'll know the other digit would be on the C7 spinous process. Some other landmarks we can use to find uh, different vertebrae would be the superior angle of the scapula. So the superior angle of the scapula is generally going to be in line with the uh, spinous process of T2. Um, if we go ahead and locate the uh, spine of the scapula, move medially uh, till we get to the root of the spine of the scapula at the medial border of the scapula, that's going to be an approximate line of the spinous process of T3. And then lastly, if you go along the medial border to the inferior angle and move medially, you're going to land approximately on the spinous process of T7.